We'll guide you through how to enable command blocks on your Minecraft server hosting provider. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We'll be using Apex hosting for this guide, but if you go and use another host, that's fine. The steps should be pretty similar. But if you're yet to get a Minecraft server, then definitely check out Apex Hosting, the sponsors of this video. They've got one click mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support. So you can get help anytime you need it. They're my go-to server host, to be honest. And you can also get 25% off your first invoice. So if you're interested, I'll, I'll put a link in the pinned comment and in the description. First of all, to go and get command blocks in your server, you will need to be an OP, which is basically a server admin. To go and make yourself that, you'll need to go onto your server panel and go to your console. Here we are on my Apex server panel. So if you're using a different host, go to your panel as well, and then go to your console. On the console, what you need to do is go and type in OP and then type in the user you want to. So it's probably yourself in this case, guide realm. So literally OP and then the user's name and then send it. And as you can see, the server has now made guide realm a server operator. So now we can go back to Minecraft. And now to get command blocks, we need to enter a command. So open up your chat and go and type in slash and type in give and then type in your username, which is in my case, guide realm. And now we need to type in command underscore block like this and hit enter. And just like that, you'll be given a command block, which you can then go and place. I've already got one here though. But now if we go and right click on it and say, go and enter a command, let's give myself a diamond, for example, or type in this one diamond. It then says command blocks are not enabled on your server. So to go and enable them, we'll need to go back to our server panel. Here we are on our server panel. And so what we need to do is go to our server files. On Apex, you'll need to head over to the left and click on FTP file access. It may be slightly different for you on your server and go and log in, but essentially just go to your server files and in your files, you need to find the server.properties file. And then what you need to do is go and edit it. So on Apex, we can go over to the right and go and click on the edit button and or then go and open it up. And as you can see, we get a list of different options. And what we need to do is go and find enable command block as you can see at the moment, this is set to false. So what we need to do is go and change this to true. So what I'm gonna do is just go and press back and type in true, just like so, and then go and hit save, and it'll then go and make the change. But now what's super important is, is once you've changed this setting, is that you now go and restart your server to go and have the change. So let me press back again and back again. And then if your server doesn't automatically restart, then you can go and click on restart like this and your server is now gonna start restarting. After joining the server, after restarting it, now we can right click on the command block and let's go and type in a command. So we'll do the same one, give myself a diamond. So I'll type in give guide realm diamond, I'll give one like that. And I've now gone and set it. And now when I go and press the button, I'm given a diamond. So that's it guys, that is how you can enable command blocks. Command blocks are a super, super powerful tool. So do just be careful who can go and use them because otherwise, you know, it, it can open up your server for abuse. But yeah, so many things you could do with it. It's sort of a game changing addition. And uh, yeah, what I've used here is an insanely basic command. You can do so much more with it. So go and do some research to find all of the different commands which you could try and use because there are gonna be some really useful commands for improving the experience of your server. And there'll be different commands depending on what, you know, different things you want to achieve in your server. Whether you just want to run more of a basic SMP or if you wanna start making games and things, that's where command blocks can become super useful. But at least now you can actually go and use command blocks in your server in the first place, thanks to this guide. So if you want to go and see more useful Apex hosting guides, as well as general Minecraft guides and tons of other stuff as well, then go and check out the Guide Realm channel. We post every day, multiple times. So you're gonna see a range of different content. If you guys found this useful and you want to see more, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you've got any suggestions for videos, then tell me in the comments down below as well, because we really do appreciate that. Guys, have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one.